Good morning, Hall Green Health. Sarah speaking, how may I help you? It's Dr Ashraf calling from Hall Green Health. The start of another busy day for Dr Sonia Ashraf. Ring the first patient and just get their consent. Today, on the phone or face to face. So this was the higher dose one. Yes? She'll talk to dozens of patients. How long have you been feeling like this for? It's a big operation, home to more than 20 GPs, as well as nurses, physios and pharmacists, contacted by around a thousand patients every day. What's this about going homeless? What's happening there? This surgery will see more patients in a day than the local A&E. You mentioned it on your rings? But compared to hospitals, GPs work on a much more limited budget. Come straight through. The amount of investment put into general practice is still just not enough. We then have to start thinking of ideas for smarter working. I can't guarantee the time, but you've not, you've got to be far on the list. Can I take a day to birth? And this is what smarter working looks like. Making sure enough call handlers are working when the lines are busiest. Any time between half eight and half six the phone's alive and there's not many periods throughout, that, throughout the day that it goes quiet enough for them to be able to do anything else. Data around call numbers, test results, prescriptions, all the complex tasks of a modern surgery are analysed to save time and money. That also means rethinking who does what. So the majority of patient house calls are now carried out by paramedics like Sophie. By allowing us to see the more acute minor injury and illness patients, that saves the time for the GPs to see the more complex chronic problems. <coughs> Meanwhile, back at the surgery, Dr Nashat Kamar is running the busy afternoon clinic. Take a deep breath in. Each consultation requiring a quick and accurate medical judgment in a system under pressure. This is the sort of area where it's hurting, yeah? We are getting a lot of work um, being pushed through to us by hospitals. Um, and they're asking us to do a lot of the work that they used to do. And certainly the administrative side of things um, over the last five years has, has significantly increased. Managing that increased workload has changed the relationship between patients and family doctors with a greater emphasis on help that's available across the community. We have evidence to show one third of contacts made into general practice could have actually been dealt safely elsewhere. The same pressures that are driving change here are seen too in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. So as this little patient grows up, the transformation of GP surgeries across the UK looks set to continue. Dominic Hughes, BBC News, Birmingham.